Tech Talks. I'm your host, Pamela Anchai, coming to you from Beverly Hills, California. Today, we will be exploring the beautiful country of Kuwait with a special guest, the General Consul of the State of Kuwait, His Excellency Faisal Ibrahim Al Huli. We have diplomats who are here to celebrate. We have vendors with amazing designs. We will be exploring beautiful things, great food, great inventions, and how far Kuwait has come since its liberation. <laughs> Welcome to Impact, and I'm honored to be in the presence of the, honor the Honorary ex your Excellency Fazal Ibrahim. I have to tell you that I've just been amazed at the beauty and the splendor of Kuwait, and you have displayed it today so marvelously. Tell me a little bit about this day and why we celebrate today. Right. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Every year on this day, we celebrate our National Day. Mm -hmm. Our National Day reflects the new state of Kuwait, a day when uh, Kuwait has adopted its cons constitutional uh, parliamentarian monarchy. Correct. This is, this is the uh, a new Kuwait. Today, we, we, we uh, celebrate. When I walked in here, I didn't know what to expect. You know, there are all these ideas about especially the Gulf nations, right. but I saw diplomats from different parts of the world. Sure. And when I talked to them, they expressed that conviviality with Kuwait. Y yes. So I'm really curious to know in terms of what is the difference between Kuwait and its neighboring countries right now? Well, How do you stand out? First, first, of, first of all, mm -hmm. uh, our political system is, is a unique in the, mm -hmm. in the region. Yes. Uh, there is no such parliamentarian, uh, say, monarchy yes. uh, around us. Uh, vivid parliamentarian system, mm -hmm. a system where the nation has the upper say, yes. and a nation believes deeply in maintaining peace. Absolutely. Thank you so much, CG. Right now I have the Honorary Consul of the Republic of Guinea, Mr. Jordan Garcia. Welcome to Impact House. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you for having me. So why are you here today? <laughs> I'm here because it's a beautiful party and I come <laughs> from the past few years. Yes. Kuwait, we have a very good uh, relationship between the Republic of Guinea and Kuwait. Yes. Uh, they are financing many infrastructure in Guinea, especially we work a lot with the Kuwaiti Fund. Okay. So, and uh, I'm a very good friend of the, of the Council of, of Kuwait the Council also. Of Kuwait. You see, that's amazing. Kuwait has come a long way from when they had the situation with the Iraq war. Mm -hmm. That's what happened, right? Mm -hmm. And now we're celebrating that liberation. Yeah. So it's come a long way to the point of financing projects in Guinea. I didn't know that. Oh, but the Kuwait fund, it's uh, one of the major funds and they finance a lot of things in, in Africa in general, especially in Senegal. They did a lot of work in Senegal. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are like, now working on different projects with them. So we have a very good relationship. We also opened an embassy last year in uh, Kuwait City. Yes. So for us, it's very important to, to keep a very good relationship uh, with Kuwait. Absolutely. And you represent all those interests, right? Exactly. <laughs> so nice talking to you. And nice I hope to you stop you again. by again. I will. Thank you for having me. You're very Thank welcome. You right now, I have this marvelous, outstanding man sitting here with me. He is the Honorary Consul General from the Consulate of St. Vincent, Dr. Kadrin Gill. Hello, Dr. Gill, you, how are you? Thank you for inviting me on this lovely day of celebration of the beautiful country of Kuwait. It's just been outstanding. How have you, see, how's the day been going for you today? All is well. I just came back from an event yes. in Beverly Hills. I was there with the chairman yes. of the Democratic Committee. Chairman of the Democratic Committee here, yes. fundraising event. Yes. So I just left here, and I said that it would be uh, it would be remiss if I don't attend. Absolutely. This when you think about it, how far do you think Kuwait has come in t from you know the time of the, the end of the war to where they are right now? I think they're doing a tremendous job. Uh, my friend, the Council um, of Sabuzi, yes. I doing a, doing an excellent job. Yes. I wanted to continue on that um, on that rough, that rough. Yes. How do you think the CG is doing? How do you think he's doing in terms of the relationships 
with integration of Kuwait with all the other I think diplomatic it, core. I think, yes. I think my brother Sabuzi is doing an excellent job. Yes. And I wanted to continue that yes. process and uh, to spread the word of uh, Kuwait yes. and to be able to, um, you know, a, 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 a consider of goodwill, Absolutely. ambassador of goodwill. Absolutely. Yes. I, I feel the same way. We thank you so much for stopping by. It's been wonderful. And I can't wait to talk about what's going on with St. Vincent next time on Impact. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me <laughs> and uh, we'll see you again. Yes, yeah, certainly. We've come to the end of a special edition of Impact, exploring the amazing country of Kuwait. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot and hopefully you get to visit this beautiful nation that has come a long way. See you next time on Impact. I'm Pamela Ann.